As the spring calving season is getting underway here across the southern plains, it's time to remind producers that the nutritional needs of beef cows actually are undergoing quite a, a sizable change as we go from that dry pregnant cow to now a lactating cow. Let's use an example of a 1200 pound uh, cow before she calves. And when we look at her nutrient needs, well, we need every day for her to consume about 1.9 pounds of protein and something close to 13 pounds of what we call TDN. That's the energy component of the feed. When she's, after she calves and starts to lactate, those uh, particular numbers change rather dramatically. For protein, it goes up about 52%, up to 2.9 pounds of protein every day. And in case of energy, it goes up about 30% from that uh, roughly that 13 pounds that we talked about up to uh, near 17 pounds on an everyday basis. Now a lactating cow will consume more voluntarily than she did uh, as a dry pregnant cow but that increase in terms of voluntary intake is only an increase of about 20 percent. So as we think about those numbers you've got an only a 20 percent increase in intake but the needs for protein have jumped by 52% and energy has increased by 30%. That means to me that the quality, not only the quantity, but the quality of her diet needs to increase as well. Let's use that same example, that 1200 pound cow. If she's been consuming, uh, say, just ordinary uh, average uh, quality grass hay and some 30% crude protein supplement, then we would need to increase her daily intake of that uh, supplement about three and a third pounds every day to meet those protein needs. And that three and a third pounds of, of increased protein supplement would go a long way to meeting the increased needs that she has for energy. So by doing that then, we would be uh, getting that cow the correct amount of nutrients that she needs on an everyday basis to maintain her body condition, produce milk, and go ahead and recycle and rebreed on time for next year's calf crop. So as we go through this calving season, let's keep in mind the nutrient requirements of these beef cows do change as they go from a dry pregnant cow to a lactating cow. I'd like to see that change begin gradually in the last part of gestation so we don't have to just make the entire change overnight. But I do think it's important that we understand the differences between the needs of that dry cow and the lactating cow. And if you'd like to learn more about uh, nutrient needs of beef cows, go to the SUNUP website. There we'll have under the show links a link to an, an excellent extension circular done here at Oklahoma State. And it's just nutrient requirements for beef cattle. Give you a lot of information about what cattle in different classifications will need throughout the year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow Calf Corner. <music>